I have that big dad energy and I come in strong. I think about how fast time goes. It makes me more present and conscious. Have you got any advice for fathers out there that has helped you being a, a good father? I think the heavy hitters, right? The main things that that's always swirling is how fast time goes, right? So I'm I'm probably more conscious than I would like because that kind of makes me sad. I, I think about that often, but because I think about how fast time goes, it makes me more present and conscious. Just like this moment right now, I'm watching my oldest. She just spilled a drink and now she's grabbing a, a towel and wiping it down. And so I'm, I'm proud of that about, I, I think about just being really present in the moment because of like how often I'm thinking how fast time goes by. So that's a big one, but that's also cliche. I would say one that you don't hear that often is having big dad energy. And it, so I've seen this a couple times on Twitter and I, I can't, I can't take it as a, as my own by any means, but what I love about this. And so I'll, I'll explain big dad energy is similar to what we were talking about before you're gone all day. You're, if that's your job away from the house or you're working during the day and, and there's a time that you need to be focused on that work, whenever that work is that ends and you're in your home and present come in that door and whatever you need to do to switch to your big dad energy, do it. So for me, I'm gone Tuesday through Friday during the day. And I come home and I'm in my driveway. I, I back my car up before I open the garage. I turn off my car and I sit there just for a minute or two. And I'm going through some things in my head of, okay, closing check boxes off. And then I like, whatever I need to do, if I need to talk to myself for a second, or if I just need to close my eyes and envision coming in the door, I do what I can to flip the switch. And when I come in the door, I have my big dad energy or like the best I can. And so what that looks like is I, I drop my bags at the door. They're usually downstairs, they're eating dinner or they're in the living room. And, and they're still at that age where they run to me. And I drop my bags, I pick them up as they run to me and I swing them around. And so I have that big dad energy and I come in strong. And you don't hear that often, but I would say that's one of the best tips that I've ever gotten from other dads that are wiser and older and smarter than I am is to come in the door every day with that big dad energy because like they love it and they need it and they, they want you and they want that big dad energy. And so you got to give it to them. It's a great one. I love it. I think, uh, yeah, just being that little bit intentional. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Finish work sit in your car, gather yourself for a couple minutes. And then I like, cool. dad's going to flip and set the tone for when he gets home, because that, that can also change the almost trajectory of a night. Basically, if you could come through that door and you're like slouched and you're like, Oh, I've had a terrible day. It's not going to make the kids want to really come and run up to you, is it? So you, yeah. And sort of flipping the switch and just going, okay, cool. This is me. I'm going to go and we're going to have big hugs and flip and high energy. Like what a great reminder. It's good for everyone to realize and not even just as a, as a dad, but as a person in general, just be conscious of the way that you are showing up. I had this really interesting guy on my podcast ages ago, and he always says that the people rise to the highest energy, right? So if you're in a room, your nervous system will rise to the sort of highest energy. And you can sense that on people. You can sense somebody that's cool. They're confident. They've got their shoulders back, their chest out. They got a smile on their face. Okay. I want to go talk to that guy or that girl. You know what I mean? I don't want to talk to the other guy who's slouching and, and looks half depressed and stuff. So just the more you can be conscious of that, the better it is for you and the better it is for everyone around you. So 